Hey everyone, welcome back to another Week in Review at Crossover Media. First up is the latest release from Jonathan Biss, Beethoven Piano Sonatas Volume 4. He's been having another very solid week at radio with new ads coming in daily. Radio is a huge fan of JB's elegant playing and musicianship. Make sure to check out his Crossover Media artist page to see all the great comments and the stations playing his album. We're really excited for our next radio interview day coming up on April 7th with violinist Hilary Hahn. She'll discuss her new Deutsche Grammophon album, Mozart 5, Viewtomp 4 Violin Concertos, with all the top markets in classical radio. We look forward to sharing all the great material. As always, keep an eye on our homepage where we'll post all the interviews and features. Next up, in celebration of Billie Holiday's 100th birth anniversary on April 7th, we're going to be hosting a Google Hangout with pianist Lara Downs and author and music critic Will Friedwald. Downs recently released a very personal tribute to Lady Day entitled A Billie Holiday Songbook, so she and Friedwald will discuss this great American icon during the Hangout. The Hangout will happen this Monday, March 30th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find all the details on our Facebook page. To celebrate Billie Holiday's birthday, we're also going to be running a fun download campaign over on Twitter, so make sure to follow us at underscore Crossover Media and keep your eyes peeled for a link to a free track from Lara's new album. String Quartet Brooklyn Rider was recently featured in the Washington Post for their performance at the 6th and I Synagogue in Washington, D.C. The Post gave Brooklyn Rider a glowing review, among which they said Brooklyn Rider played with complete commitment, sympathy, and fierce virtuosity. The evening was two fascinating hours of unalloyed listening pleasure. You can find this review and many more featured over on our website, crossovermedia.net. If you're looking for a job in the music industry, you may want to take a look at our Facebook and Twitter. We plan to share many more job postings in the future. One interesting position we came across is an opening at Sony Music Entertainment. They're currently looking for a consumer insights manager in New York City. Make sure to check that posting to see if it would be a good fit for you. Lastly, we came across an interesting article on Hypebot about a company who hopes to be the Netflix of vinyl. The company is called Vinyl, spelled V-N-Y-L, and they offer users a hand-curated selection of records delivered on a regular basis. They're also separating themselves from the pack by offering the rentals for a sale at a discounted price. We think this is a really cool idea, but in a world where streaming music is getting more and more popular, we're curious to see just how this will work out. Let us know if you plan to use or if you already use vinyl. We'd love to know what you think. That wraps up another Crossover Media Week in Review. As always, please check our website, www.crossovermedia.net, for more on our artists and music news. You can also follow us over on Twitter at underscore Crossover Media, and make sure to like our Facebook page. Thanks again.